Ever wonder why some people seem to recover from illnesses against all odds? Or manifest their deepest desires seemingly out of thin air? I did. What if the answer lay not within the visible spectrum of our physical reality, but somewhere much more profound, a place where science and spirituality converge? Welcome to today's episode where we unravel the mysteries of the quantum field and its transformative power in our physical reality. Stay tuned to hear more. Welcome to Physics Powered Healing, where we bridge the gap between science and spirituality, transforming skepticism into belief. If you've ever felt misunderstood or undervalued for your healing gifts, this is the place for you. Unlike most healing podcasts out there, we believe integrating quantum physics with energy healing is essential to achieving profound and long-lasting transformation in your healing practice. Join me, Dr. Anastasia Choplis, a physicist turned energy healer to explore the scientific underpinnings of energy healing and make the mystical measurable. Welcome back. All my life, I knew there was something beyond us. I didn't know what, but I decided at age seven to become a scientist. Pretty young, huh? And as I became an adult, I focused my studies into vibrations of matter and quantum physics. The connection between science and that which is beyond the physical hit home when I was standing beside a hospital bed, looking down at a family friend, George, trapped in a coma after a severe accident. Doctors had given up hope, but deep down, I knew there was more to life than what meets the eye. My journey into energy healing wasn't straightforward. As a former physics professor, I straddled the worlds of quantum mechanics and healing energies, always searching for that bridge between the two. That day, as I extended my hands toward George, I felt an invisible connection, that force beyond the physical weaving through every atom and particle, a manifestation of the quantum field at work. I could hear him in my head, and my work on him brought him back. So, let me introduce you to the quantum field. It is an invisible ocean of energy that forms the building blocks of our universe. Unlike anything we encounter in our daily lives, it consists of vibrations and waves constantly influencing the material world. It's where particles pop into and out of existence, shaping the very fabric of our reality. When I studied quantum physics in graduate school, it was a flood of mathematical equations that seemed disconnected from what was observable in the physical world. It wasn't until I was able to see for myself some of the weirdness of reality in the lab that allowed me to understand that there's more to us than meets the eye. For example, electrons are particles. You know that. I know that. We can create a stream of them and shoot them at wherever we like. Old televisions use this technology to create moving images on a phosphor screen. Yes, your old 1950s TVs. If you shoot electrons through a pair of slits, however, they produce a diffraction pattern onto a screen, something only expected of light or sound waves. I demonstrated this for my physics class when I was at University of Washington. But this is a short introduction to more of the weirdness of reality, and that is that of quantum jumping. Within the quantum realm, particles undergo quantum jumps, moving from one state to another instantaneously without an observable path or trajectory. It's like flipping a switch and finding yourself in an entirely different room without walking through the door. This property is mirrored in healing, where profound shifts in health can occur in the blink of an eye, defying conventional expectations. I see it every day in my healing practice where someone transforms from having a severe migraine to pain-free in an instant. Or when an autistic child who had been previously monosyllabic starts responding in not just sentences, but paragraphs. This is all done sometimes while I'm miles away and even not speaking to them. This brings us to another property, that of quantum entanglement, which is connectivity 
on a cosmic scale. This is described as particles once connected but remain linked over vast distances. In experiments, when one particle rotates, the others rotate at the very same time but in opposite directions. What does this mean for us? It suggests our connection to each other, to the planet, and indeed, the universe isn't just physical, it's quantum. In those equations I mentioned earlier, the complete solutions to them require a consideration of the distances between particles from zero, meaning in contact with one another, all the way out to infinity. This suggests that we are all connected, the entire universe. In healing, this reinforces the power of distant healing, bridging gaps that physical distance can't diminish. In some interesting remote viewing experiments conducted by the government decades ago, average people could see what was in a given location 65 to 70 percent of the time, meaning they were asked to show them or draw a picture of what they saw at some latitude and longitude. And yes, they were correct as 65 to 70 percent of the time. Skilled detectives who are practiced at seeing the unseen could see what was in that location 95% of the time. We all have these skills. Some of us are more practiced and or have quieter insides than others, so we see things differently. This brings us to the last point of how and why manifestation of your desires works using the quantum field. Remember that odd two-slit experiment with electrons? Well, when the researchers that first discovered this tried to determine which slit that electron went through to create that diffraction pattern, they put a detector on one of the slits. Then the electrons started behaving like particles instead of waves. So on the other side, they had two spots instead of a diffraction pattern. The very fact that they put an instrument in this experiment altered the results. It's like putting a warm thermometer into a cup of cold water to measure its temperature. You change the temperature of the water, so it's inaccurate. So back to the quantum field. It's made of vibrations and waves, and we know that waves interact with one another, which is called interference, and the resulting waves are changed in amplitude and frequency. This is how the quantum field responds to your emotions, your thoughts, and your attentions, all which have frequencies or you are sending out waves. And by aligning your energy with the energy of what you wish to manifest, you can bring into your reality which was once considered impossible. Healing, abundance, and love. It's all within your grasp. Once you understand, you're always communicating with the quantum field. Are you curious to dive deeper into the quantum field and its implications for healing and manifesting? I have a program called the Four-Step Quantum Prosperity Activation starting very soon. Yes, it's a brand new program. Go to healersu.com forward slash prosperity dash waitlist to get informed when the class opens. I look forward to seeing you there live. We've reached the end of this episode, but you can join me in the next called Embarrassingly Simple Ways to Cleanse Your Home of Spirits as we explore cleansing techniques to create a sanctuary of peace and positivity in your life. You won't want to miss it. Thank you for tuning in to Physics Powered Healing. You'll find resources and show notes on our website at physicspoweredhealing.com. Until next time, I'm Dr. Anastasia Choplis sending you golden healing light and success vibes on your journey to becoming a powerful, confident healer. Remember, your healing gifts are so needed in this world.